Welcome to the weekly and welcome to my pottery studio here on the south shore of Boston, Massachusetts in the heart of Marshfield Center. While I am back from my road trip, I was in Pittsburgh uh, where I picked up Penn Avenue Pottery. So excited to be part of that group of potters. And then I traveled up to Cleveland and I'm working on a gallery and possibly two retail locations there. That's all still in the works. Maybe I'll have some exciting news for you next week. And then I traveled back down uh, into Kingston, New York. Great little town. I have to go back. And working on something there. The gears are still moving. I'm making a prototype for them. So that still needs to be announced. And then I went to Sheffield Pottery. I picked up my clay, got to see their manufacturing center. And now I am back in uh, the pottery itself. I actually, I did a firing last night, a bisque fire. So I'll be glazing this Monday. And uh, the wheels are gonna be turning once again. So no big announcements this week. I'm just glad to be back uh, in my studio. Uh, I did want to show you a piece that I created. Uh, I forget, somebody asked, uh, I posted this piece a couple weeks ago. Uh, it was in bisqueware form, and somebody asked me, uh, then I showed a, I think I showed a photo of me uh, glazing the piece, but I never showed the piece once it came out of the kiln. And I got, somebody asked me, how did that piece turn out? How did that piece turn out? Because I made a big deal about it because it's a pretty cool piece. It's very contemporary and uh, it's still uh, very much a prototype for me. But uh, I wanted to show you whoever, I forget who asked me how it turned out, but I wanted to show you the piece itself. And this is the shape of the piece. So it's very, uh, I would say, sculptural in nature. And this is the interior of the piece itself. It's one of my favorite new glazes. This is my sun yellow. I don't know if the light's really capturing that. Uh, but there's a, a, a darker yellow glaze. And then I dribbled a, a white matte glaze into that yellow, that sun yellow glaze and it kind of melded into the sun yellow. So it has a really interesting look, it has an interesting shape. Uh, and then my Shino glaze on the back, which the camera is not gonna capture this at all, but what happens with a Shino glaze is uh, the, the surface is dark and then it falls into the crevices and the crevices turn really, really light. Maybe you can see some of that. Probably not, but I think, and then just so much information going on with this piece because there's so many different slab connections. That was another thing I was experimenting with, uh, with this piece are the, all the different, how I built it in the mold. I just love the more slab connections there are, the more interesting the piece becomes. But the more slab connections there are, the more fracture lines you might get within the piece itself. And this piece, unfortunately, suffered some fraction lines. But it will not hang as a vessel, but this could be a super, super interesting, uh, not a terrarium, but something that could hold plant life and maybe drape out of the crevices, the etched in crevices themselves. Uh, so I'm looking forward to experimenting with that with a local florist here in Cohasset, a Violet Floral Shop, really cool place. You have to check it out if you're local. I'm gonna give her this piece to experiment with for a creative floral arrangement. So that's it for the weekly. I just really wanted to show you how this piece turned out. I'm really happy with it, even though there are some fracture lines once that floral piece is in here, those lines will be all covered up and it'll be a great centerpiece for a floral arrangement. So win-win all around. 
Uh, anyways, uh, hopefully I have some exciting news for you next week as these retail locations and gallery uh, places that I spotted kind of pan out, work out, sift out, and uh, maybe I'll be in a few more places by next week. So until next week, as always, stay creative, and I'll see you then.